we're gonna give you something to taco about. This is our review of Taco vs. Burrito. Taco vs. Burrito is a take that set collection game where your goal is to fill up your taco or burrito with the weirdest ingredients. At the start of the game, each player chooses either a taco or a burrito, and then each player is dealt five cards. On each player's turn, they will draw one card and then play one card. There are several types of cards that can be played, including ingredients, tummy aches, and action cards. The ingredients will add points to your taco or burrito, and the tummy aches will minus points from your opponents. Players continue drawing and playing cards until the draw pile has run out of cards. Then, once one player runs out of cards, the game ends, and all players add up all their points in their tacos or burritos. The player with the most points wins. We were sent a copy of Taco vs. Burrito by the creators Hot Taco Inc. so that we could do this review, so thank you Alex and Leslie for sending it to us. One of the first things you'll notice when you unbox the game are the taco and burritos because they're kind of a fun element. You're going to play them in front of you and you're going to play cards inside of it. One side is taco, one side is burrito. When you first start the game, you got to choose which team you're on, taco or burrito. So when we were first looking at the game and we start looking at the ingredients, right? There was something like ice cream and something normal. And all of a sudden I drew one and it said hot yogurt. And I was like, hot yogurt? Oh my God. And then like another one came out, chocolate covered shrimp. I was like, oh, Kenny, what's going on here? Because in my mind, I was like, all right, you know, taco burrito, everyone loves eating these. What's going on here? And you're like, well, that's how it's made. And then, you know, we learned the story about it being made by Alex. And I was like, you know what? I can imagine a kid just going, you know what could be good? Hot yogurt. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's cute. It's funny. I think I like it. Alex wanted to make the weirdest food, so they included lots of weird ingredients. So yes, hot yogurt, but there's also a bowl of lice. And then there's adorable marshmallow and chocolate cake and cotton candy and blood salsa. So there's lots of weird stuff in the game. The mechanics of the game are very easy to learn. So this is definitely a family friendly game. You can probably teach it to kids pretty quickly and then get started playing right away. So the concept is you're playing positive ingredients in your taco or your burrito, and then you wanna play the negative points in your opponents. And then if you get far behind, then you wanna play an action card that can kind of turn the tables, either steal their taco or burrito, or make them get rid of their ingredients or different things like that. So it's definitely a take that game, but there's not a lot of reading like in some other games and it plays very quickly. So kids and families can play it and it'll be a fun night. Personally, with these types of games, you know, it's a lot of, okay, let's, let's hold our good cards and then play our bad cards and save it until the very end when the deck runs low. But when everyone's doing it, it starts off a chain reaction, right? It's like, okay, I'll play this card, but then I'll, I'll steal that, but then I'll steal yours. So really it's the person that was able to hold on to that last card that really makes or break if they're gonna win or not. The end game starts as soon as the last card is drawn from the draw pile, then you keep playing until one player runs out of cards. So even if you're holding a really good card, if someone else runs out of cards before you can play it, then you gotta discard it and you just count up your points so you didn't get to play it. So if you were planning on stealing someone else's taco or burrito right at the end, but someone got out of cards before you were able to play that, then that strategy doesn't work for you either. So it's kind of a timing. Yes, you have to hang on to it till the end, but at the same time, you don't wanna still be left holding your cards when the game ends. All of the games in this genre all have the same issue, which is that it's luck of the draw, which if you don't mind that, then it's a lot of fun. You're just playing, attacking each other, and there's not a whole lot of strategy other than holding onto your cards as long as possible. And as you play the card, you attack them, you hurt them, then they can play it and attack you and they hurt you, and then you just keep going back and forth. But because there is that luck of the draw, there isn't a whole lot of strategy. So this isn't for people who like those really heavy Euro style games or the really long campaign games that could take eight hours. This is definitely a light appetizer game, start of the night, family friendly, getting together for the holidays. You just wanna play a quick 15, 20 minute game. This is that style of game and it's perfect for that. Overall, I'd probably say I give Taco vs. Burrito a seven. You know, points for its origin story as far as the, the creators of it, Alex and his mom. I like the little tacos and burritos on here. They don't have a major purpose in the game, but it just, you hold it in here to collect your cards and then you can slide it over to someone if they steal it. But it's cute, it, it gives it that little extra of being just like a card game. 
Overall, I'm gonna give the game a six. It's definitely a fun take that style game. I like other games like Exploding Kittens and Unstable Unicorns a little bit more, but if you have those games in your collection, you should definitely add this to your collection as well. It's gonna be fun for families. I know my nephew loves playing it in the holidays. So this is one that you should definitely take a look at. And Teresa gives it a 10. And Juliana gives it an eight. And that was our review of Taco versus Burrito. What'd you think? Are you ready to get into the food fight and dish out those tummy aches? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny.